The first U.S.-based mission to the moon in more than 50 years almost didn't make it yesterday. At the last minute, engineers used a tool designed by scientists at NASA Langley to help reach the surface. And meteorologist Ricky Matthews shows us a huge local success, Ricky. Yeah, Tom and Lena, hours before that mission was slated to land, the engineers had to get creative and they discovered a problem with their navigation sensor. So they turned to NASA guidance systems for an assist to precisely land the challenging terrain of the South Pole at the moon. NASA's navigation Doppler LiDAR system was designed right here at NASA Langley. Now it uses three cameras with, with which have laser beams uh, that come out of them that the lasers hit the moon surface, it's reflected back up to estimate height. NASA hopes to use this technology in the future to land crewed missions as part of its Artemis program. In the Apollo era, large radars or astronauts using their eyes looking out of a viewport were used to help land the vehicles. NDL is going to have to take the burden off of the crew with a much smaller, lower power, and more accurate instrument. Now this NDL technology has been under design in NASA for many years, but this was the first time it was used on a commercial spacecraft that landed on the moon. The spacecraft is operational, but we're kind of learning as we go more about it. There's a press conference NASA is holding literally right now as we speak. Jeff and I have been watching it in the background. We're kind of getting some information from it. We'll share some of that on social media as the evening goes on. Ricky Matthews, 10 on your side.